Welcome to our exclusive look inside the powerful armaments of the United States Navy. From aircraft carriers to long-range missiles, the Navy's arsenal is a force to be reckoned with. Join us as we take a closer look at the technology and weapons that give the Navy its unmatched strength and capability. Get ready for an in-depth look at the future of naval warfare and the innovative technology that's shaping it. The OTO Malera 76 is a powerful naval gun that has been used by the U.S. Navy since 1975. Its compact design allows for deployment on even the smallest warships, and its versatility makes it suitable for both close-in point defense and air and ground support. The gun can fire armor-piercing, incendiary, and fragmentation projectiles, as well as guided projectiles capable of destroying maneuverable anti-ship missiles. To conceal the cannon on a ship, it can be installed inside an invisible dome, making it difficult for the enemy to detect the source of the shells. The Mark 38 is a 25mm automatic gun that is based on the M242 Bushmaster, a design that allows for almost non-stop firing, with a variable rate of fire that depends on the pressure in the barrel after firing and the mechanical endurance of the unit. The OTO Malera 76 and the Mark 38 are both powerful weapon systems used by the U.S. Navy in defense against light surface targets and coastal targets. The OTO Malera 76 has a high rate of fire, and the Mark 38 has a short barrel which makes it easy to install inside the turret. Both weapons have undergone upgrades to improve their performance in combat. In addition to these weapons, the United States Navy also employs the Phalanx CIWS, an anti-aircraft artillery system that entered service in 1980. The system is primarily used to counter anti-ship missiles with supersonic and subsonic flight speeds. It consists of the M61A1 six-barreled automatic gun, two radar stations, an electronic turret, control panels, barbette, and a mount. The Phalanx CIWS is mainly installed on U.S. Navy warships, but a ground version called the Phalanx LPWS is being tested as part of the Sea Ram Air Defense System. Another futuristic weapon system that is currently in development is the Railgun, an impulse accelerator that uses electromagnetic force to accelerate its projectiles to high speeds. This technology is being researched for use in defense against missile, mortar, and artillery fire. The Railgun is a futuristic weapon system that uses electromagnetic force to accelerate projectiles to high speeds. With a range of 112 miles and plans to increase it to 250 miles, it can be more cost-effective than missiles. However, there are challenges to overcome, such as manufacturing projectiles from materials with maximum conductivity and power consumption. Another futuristic weapon system is the laser weapon system, which uses focused beams of light to target and destroy enemy threats. The Mark 48 has a range of over 5 miles and can reach speeds of up to 28 knots. It is currently used by the U.S. Navy and other countries' navies. It is considered one of the most advanced torpedoes in the world and has undergone several upgrades to improve its capabilities. Overall, these weapons all have unique features that make them effective in different situations. The Mark 38 and Phalanx are primarily used for defense against light surface targets and anti-ship missiles. The railgun and laser weapon have the potential to be used in a wider range of situations, with the railgun having a longer range and the laser weapon being more cost-effective. The Mark 48 is specifically designed to target fast submarines and surface objects. But the cherry on top is the multiple attack system used by the torpedo. If the torpedo loses its target, it will rescan the area and attack again. Since its inception, there have been several modifications of this weapon, with the latest version costing a staggering $3.8 million. Another powerful weapon in the U.S. Navy's possession is the UGM-133A Trident II, a fourth-generation three-stage ballistic missile. It is the only submarine-launched ballistic missile in service with the U.S. Navy's SSBNs and can be found on board USS Ohio-class submarines. These missiles make up around 52% of the U.S. strategic nuclear forces and have a range of over 7,000 miles, allowing them to reach anywhere in the world. The Trident II is known for its high accuracy, able to effectively engage even the most hardened targets. 
Another important weapon in the U.S. Navy's arsenal is the Tomahawk Missile Block 5, the latest short-range, multi-purpose, high-precision subsonic cruise torpedo modification. With its advanced capabilities and high reliability, it's expected to be in service until at least 2042. The development of the Tomahawk missile began in 1972 as a response to the Soviet Union's success in the field of cruise missiles. The project resulted in the first surface flight test from the USS Merrill in 1980, and by 1982, the missile was completed. The Tomahawk missiles are primarily used by the US Navy in warships and submarines, but they were designed with land and airborne use in mind. Their design allows them to navigate around uneven terrain, making them versatile and useful in a variety of situations. In some cases, they can even be used as unmanned reconnaissance vehicles and deliver munitions or ammunition to allies in situations where other methods might not be feasible due to weather conditions or enemy air defense operations. The SM-2 missile, developed by the American defense contractor Raytheon, is a state-of-the-art anti-aircraft guided missile that is currently in use by the United States Navy as well as several of its allies around the world. These missiles come with a hefty price tag, with each one costing American taxpayers about $1.87 million. One of the key advancements of the SM-2 is its combined guidance system, which eliminates the need for a constant radar beam to guide the missile. Instead, the missile tracks its target using radio corrections transmitted to it after the target is detected by radar. The SM-2 missile is designed to work in conjunction with the Aegis Fire Control System, which allows for improved targeting by illuminating the target for just a few seconds. This not only increases the missile's firepower, but also makes it more resistant to the interface. Additionally, the SM-2 has been modified to include a two-way communication channel between the missile and the delivery vehicle, which allows the military to optimize the missile's trajectory in flight, making it nearly impossible for the target to evade. A single launch of an SM-2 missile cost the Navy an estimated $409,000. Building upon the success of the previous SM-3 surface-to-air guided missile, Raytheon has continued to innovate in the field of missile technology with the latest development of the SM-3. This missile is the latest addition to the standard missile family and offers even more advanced capabilities than its predecessors. The SM-3 missile has proven its capabilities in a number of successful tests. In 2001 and 2002, the missile successfully intercepted a simulated ballistic missile warhead at an altitude of 155 miles. Then, in 2020, the SM-3 Block 2A was launched and it successfully destroyed a test target near the Hawaiian Islands. This demonstrates that the missile technology is constantly evolving, and the SM-3 is at the forefront of this advancement. While the SM-3 missile is a formidable weapon, it doesn't come cheap. The cost of launching this SM-3 Block 2B is $10 million, and the SM-3 Block 2A is even more expensive, at $18 million. Despite the high cost, the SM-3 missile is a valuable asset for the defense of our nation, and the investment is worth it for the protection it provides. So modern weapons are getting crazier by the day, and railgun lasers are just the newest addition to the arsenal. But let's face it, who needs a boring old gun when you can shoot lightning bolts out of your hands? I mean, just imagine walking into a room and saying, I brought the thunder, while holding a railgun laser. Now that's how you make an entrance. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future weapons that will make your inner child squeal with excitement. Until next time, stay curious and stay awesome.